Hey, welcome back. We're gonna go, go ahead and start RuneScape here. I think everything's rocking. Alright. That's set up. Let's go. Play here. Do -do 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 -do. Cool. Oh boy, a daily reward with no space to put it. What can I throw away to get this daily roll? Got lots of insignias. A damaged dagger, that's gotta be worth something. Air runes. Bucket of water. Soil box. Journal. I don't have space for anything. We'll claim that daily reward later when I have space. Oh look, a bank chest. I'm right next to it. Let's deposit this invitation box. Yay. Where's my daily reward? Something, something. Bonus XP is active. Okay. In case I want to go XPing. Grinding, or whatever you call it. All right, daily rewards. I got keys, of, lots of keys. Let's skip that, okay. Well, I think I was on my way to do this workbench when it crashed last time, so we will see where I'm at. It says I could do a light crossbow and have everything to get a light crossbow. So I will go ahead and restore that. I also have a dagger, I wonder what it takes to get that. Restore a damaged artifact. Level up! Sweet! 14. Next is... doesn't show the dagger. I think it would show it if it was on the list. Venator dagger. You need 16 iron and 12 insignias for the dagger. So it used everything I had. Huh. Well, I can either keep, keep poking around here, or we can try to do some other quests and come back here later. When we want other things. Um, I'm kind of, kind of done with this area for now. Um, yeah, put stuff in the bank. I guess I could free up some more space by doing that. If I put the soil box and the journal in the bank... Deposit the damage seal. So we got a damage seal, a damage dagger. So we got lots of stuff that we've discovered. We just have to collect more things. Okay, so what do we do with this crossbow? Is this crossbow something I can use? Examine it. A fully restored light crossbow. Oh, I can sell it to somebody. That's right. Let's see if I can remember who to sell it to. I don't think it's this guy. Maybe put on a shirt. Is it chilly here or is it just me? Maybe put on a shirt. Uh, let's try her. Moonseam. Munsum. What treasure you discover buried beneath the sands? Not her. Okay. Alright, let's look. I think if you look on the map, it was in the previous digging area, I believe. It 
was up here. Baroque dig site. I think it was up here that I could I could uh, sell something to. But I only have one, I mean I'll bump into them eventually. I'm not gonna waste my time looking for one little thing. They're probably gonna give me like ten experience or something. Closet the crossbow. They're grouped together. Maybe I could do folders. So that would be nice. All kinds of empty clothes from a long time ago. I'm just looking for ideas here. Bronze or box. Oh, that's if I go mining, I need to bring the box. Bucket of water. So I do have a bucket of water. I have two, two buckets of water. This was for that priest thingy. I couldn't find that gold key. Aha! House key. Darn. Not a gold key. It looked kind of gold. Ashes, ashes. Guards. Bait, Wom, Hide, Wormwood, another jug, lots of containers of stuffs. Alright, let's look at the quest list. Who is next? We were in the middle of Druidic Ritual. Let oh, we already did that one. Restless Ghost. What's that? Find Father Ernie, expert on ghosts. He lives in a shack south of the swamp near the coastline. There you go. They even marked it for me. Alright, so I will teleport over here. I'm glad teleporting doesn't cost anything. I use it a lot. Alright, where's my compass? That would be this way. Oh, so I want to go south. I'm looking for Father... That's a sage. That's a church. That's a graveyard. Open coffin. Gulp. South of the swamp, they say. Giant rats. Okay. I'm looking for a shack, I believe. What right over here? This looks like a building. There's a fisherman. We'll mine copper down here if we need copper. Here's a shack. Is it this shack? Is this where father lives? It's just not. Look. Father Ernie, we found him. Go away, I'm meditating. Well, that's friendly. Father Eric sent me to talk to you. I suppose I'd better talk to you then. What has he got himself into this time? A ghost is haunting his graveyard. Oh, the silly fool. I leave town for five months, he's already having problems. Sigh. Well, I can't go back and exercise it. I vowed not to leave this place until I've spent a full two years praying and meditating. I'll tell you what I can do though, take this amulet. He gives you the amulet. It's a ghost speak amulet. It's called that because when you wear it you can speak to ghosts. Many ghosts and are doomed to remain in this world because they have some important task left uncompleted. If you know what the task is, you can get rid of the ghost. I'm not making any guarantees, mind you, but it's the best I can do right now. 
Thank you, I'll give it a try. Where goes to speak amulet? Ah, something over here is lit up. Purify purification bolt. Wonder if that's it. I'll head that way unless I get a hint. Talk to the ghost in the coffin south of Slumbridge Church to speak to find out why it's haunting the graveyard. I must make sure to wear my ghost speak amulet when doing so. Purify corruption. You need a charmed sack to collect corruption. Yassandra will be able to give you. Okay, talk to Yassandra. Greetings, stranger. Have you been sent to help us in the fight to purify this area of the invading corruption? No. I'm so glad. We need everyone we can get. I can only hope that you still want to help when I have given you some more details. How can I help? Faith is the answer. Creature is a being of malice and evil, a scar on the land. In this way, it holds the seeds to its own destruction. The reason I polluted the area is that we it cannot survive in pure conditions. So we purify the land? Even better, with your, our faith and strength of spirit channeled with, into the pillars, we can purify the corruption that is spewing forth and feed it back to itself, purifying it from the inside out. In this way, we will destroy the beast and remove its foul grip on the land. How does it work? The nexus where the thing is trying to break through is the key. Its corruption, the power, is used to taint the land escapes. If we collect this corruption, the foul orange cloud, we can feed it back to it through the pillars. In order to use the pillars, we need to find the power, use the power of prayer. How does prayer help? It's simpler than it sounds. Each bowl of the pillars is attuned to a different aspect of the spirit, order, chaos, battle, and fealty for which everyone has the potential. All you have to do is muster your strength of will, holding the necessary aspect firmly in your heart as you pour the corruption into the bowl and the pillars will do the rest. Your spiritual strength will increase as you do this. Let's get down to business. Any other help I can give you? Collect from Nexus. You need a charmed sack. He can give you one. Okay, give me a quick charmed sack. Would you like a charmed sack? Yes. There you go. Anything else I can help you? Collect from Nexus. Check contents. Gaining experience very slowly. What was that thing I had clicked on earlier that I oh verify corruption? Sack is full. Purify it using the bowl. Off to the bowl. Dumped it into there. Goes in a circle. Ah, there's another bowl over there. Level up. Level 11, more prayer points. Strange. Still looking for that ghost thing, my bobber. Uh, 
It's another tedious quest. This game's got a lot of tedious stuff in it, doesn't it? Mining is tedious. Sifting through sand is tedious. Now they have prayer, which is tedious. So you just collect here, and then you go to here. I wonder when I'm done. Or maybe there is no quest. Maybe I actually have to create a quest. So we... Oh, you, maybe you have to do each one. So you got order, BLT, order, BLT. Ah. So I picked one. I wonder if there's a certain amount you were supposed to do. Back is full. Alright. Try this one. Turn around. Kill it, yeah. There's also chaos. Ooh, I can I can do this one down here. <clears throat> There's a battle back here. I wonder if they're keeping track of how much I do. Ooh, another level up. More prayer points. Each time I- oh, I was gonna say each time I dump I get even more. We've done field. I think we've done order. Now we can do fealty and battle. I believe. Fealty and chaos. Order and chaos. Tough to find that ghost. Level up. Maybe they're doubling all experience points. if the battle one will create a battle or something. Examine log. Is that a ghost? Talk to for sure. Alright, so I think I've done each one. I'll talk to her. Oh, talk to security guy. I'm giving out free books to teach you how to keep your account secure. 
Uh, thanks. You're welcome. Oof. He just appeared. Read. Authenticator. Okay. Alright. Where'd the lady go? There she is. Yesandria. Hello again. Anything else I can help you? Uh, what is that thing? It's a creature of nightmares. I don't know its name. I don't wish to. An abomination must be stopped. What kind of creature is it? Again, I don't know. It's been growing in this area for many years, warping the land into a dark, dank morass you see here. That's why I call it the grotesque. If it's been here for many years, why was there no evidence of it? Oh, there was. Have you never been to the tunnels beneath these swamps and seen the hands reaching from the walls? They were the first evidence of this horror. Why didn't you do something back then? Ah. If we'd have known then what we do now, perhaps we could have salvaged some of this area to stop the growth of this monstrosity. My mentor, Ogram, came to study the area when he heard about the hands. For all his wisdom, he has no way of knowing the extent of the evil here. What did he do? For some time he studied the hands in the surrounding area, without knowing how insidious the creature was. He thought it was safe, but it wasn't growing that it wouldn't hurt us. He sent me his apprentice to watch over the area. By the time I realized the extent of the danger, it was too late. Go on. When it became clear that it was growing in power, I called Ogram to investigate. It was clear to Ogram that the corruption in the area had grown and that left unchecked it could destroy the area. So he went away to seek help fighting the beast. Where did he go? He went to visit some druids he'd heard of far from here. He never said where exactly, only that they had some radical ideas. Those were the hardest times, being there with that evil growing not knowing then or if Ogrim was going to come back. But he did? Yes, after many months he came back. This was only a few days ago. He came with some, some of the druids he'd spoken of. Wild-eyed, feral men in tattered robes, carrying the four pillars you see here between them. Ogrim was very ill when he got back. He was an old man and the journey had taken its toll. Also, the price he paid for the druid's assistance was high. What cost? I cannot bring myself to speak of that now. Suffice it to say that he died in the cause of protecting this land. Perhaps later we will speak further of this. on this. What did the druids do? The druids did not speak, not even to Ogrim. They just set up the pillar in the formation you see, dug the channels. When they'd finished, they simply left. I spent most of the time with Ogrim, and he explained to me how the pillars can be used to force back the evil. Is there any other help that I can give you? Um, still no real 
the point. Got another tedious thing to do. Okay, I'm looking for ghosts. Alright, so I started out there. Could go in that direction. Looks like there's a swamp or something. Oh, there was a log I was going to click on. Alright, this looks like a mine. Lots of fun mine stuff I could dig around. Oh, we'll do this at some point. Alright, this area. Search rocks. These rocks might have a ghost in them. Maybe. Nothing of any use here. Talk to fishermen. So I will go away. This is this trick. Yeah. Searching for a ghost. Let me know if you see one. People up here, they look like they're out of the area. Wizard chambers. Grapple strong tree. Hmm. What would that do? Is there a ghost in it? Need to be members world. Don't know what that means. Titan rats. Maybe the ghost is in the graveyard. How about that? I know it's a far cry of open coffin. Hey. Ghost is going to pop out, and I'm going to talk to him. Talk to Restless Ghost. Hello, Ghost. How are you? Help me do something. Not very good, actually. What's the problem? Did you just understand what I said? Yep. Now tell me what the problem is. Wow, this amulet works. Wow, this is incredible. I didn't expect anyone to ever understand me. Okay, okay, I understand you. But, have you any idea why you're doomed to be a ghost? To be honest, I'm not sure. I should think it's because I've lost my head. What? I can see your head perfectly fine. Well, see through it at least. No, no, I mean my, from my real body. If you look at my coffin, you'll see my corpse is without its skull. Last thing I remember was being attacked by a warlock while I was mining. It was at the mine just south of this graveyard. Okay, I'll try to get your skull back for you, so you can rest in peace. I seek a warlock in that mine I was just at. I don't see any warlocks. Guess I could search the rocks again. Maybe they magically have a warlock in them. Just a thought. There he is. Warlock level 7. I'll take that head. Take bones. I did not see a skull. Oh, there's this used muddy skull. That's gotta be it. I have to wash it, but.
wonder if I even need to open it. If I come here, yeah, I open it, put the skull back. Hello again. How are you? How are you doing finding my skull? I found it! Hooray! Now I can stop being a ghost. Just need to put it in my coffin and I'll be free. Da 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 da! Put the skull into the coffin. Release! Thank you, stranger. Achievement complete. Eric's old bones. The Restless Ghost Quest. Get a quest point. 125 XP. Five ancient bones. At each give more XP. More keys. All right. I will bury these bones. If I burn ancient bones, is that use ancient? Bones. No. Bury ancient bones. I'm gonna see what happens when I do that. Level up. Yep. They give me XP. Um. More prayer points. 15. I bet something opens up at 15. It's a magic number. Yep. Mm. More points. More abilities. Leveling up, leveling up. Awkward, but okay. Open pack variety pack. What's in there? Oh, more power ups. Okay. Um, what else? Open this pack. Use that pack. Oh, here, I need to rub the lamp. 125. Do it. All right. Well, that was progress. Finished a quest. I wonder what red ones are. This probably means you're they're high above your level. I guess. A oh, broken home. Have we done that one? Ghost is killing people inside the haunted mansion. Having spoken to Maria, I agreed to go inside and try to save everyone I can. As well as put his spirit to rest. Please note, unlike many quests, this one relies on a non-linear open approach. You will find no help in the quest journal. You must make your way through the mystery using your wits and the items you find. Search everything, keep track of your surroundings, contents of your inventory. Good luck. That sounds... Interesting, let's try it. I might need a key to the home because it says house key, but let's see, it's probably on the map. I don't see anything marked over here. They had a special name. They called it Silver or Silver something. Some area called Silver. Hmm. To go into the details, read all the little words. might not pick this one if I have absolutely no idea where to go. Kind of an open-ended mess. Silvaria. Because I've already done this one. I 
Haunted Mansion. Maria, she sounds familiar. I wonder if that's northeast of me. Let me look at this one more. Up here is kind of where I was. Is Maria up here? Oh, Silvaria. It is. She is up here. Okay. Let's go in that direction. It's near the priest quest. Closest teleport is way over here. I need to open up another teleport here so I can make a shortcut. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to go east and then northeast. That would be us. Dark wizards. Stone circle. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Berries. You can actually pick from the berry bush. Interesting. Mine copper rock. Okay. Harvest wisps. Guard level 25. Alright, I need to go east at some point. Let's see if I'm ready to go east yet. Nope, still need to go north. East later. Broken home. Hey, we found it. Here's our turn east. Examine statue. Here's Maria. We're back. Let me know when the house is safe. Okay, so I probably got to climb these stairs and go into the house. Bank deposit box. Ooh. Well, I need to drop off something. Let me drop off this security book. I could burn it, but I don't Backpack currently unavailable. Security book. Oh, so you can just put things in the bank. Power up. I don't know what to do with that. Charmed sack. Proteon bag. Can't take things out of a bank. That's probably by design. They probably know you don't need anything anyway. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Enter door. Strange entity protects this house. You're unable to enter if you are carrying or wearing any items. What? Carrying or wearing any item? Have to put everything in the bank? Carrying or wearing. So I have to put everything. But I can't even 
Well, a key token, I don't think that counts. Empty your backpack into the bank. Could not bank all your items. So I got a key token I can't do anything with. Alrighty. Worn equipment. Um, there should be a button to remove everything, I hope. Remove. 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 Alright, I think I've got nothing left. Now I can put everything in the bank. Could not bank all your items. Okay. They don't let me in because of this token. I'm going to be like. Really good. Stop it. Go this way. Enter door. Carrying or wearing any items. Well, I have a key token I can't get rid of. Must use up an earned key before you can claim another key from this token. I said put it in the bank. So I used up a, a key. Now I can claim key token. Use up an earned key. So that means I probably have to use up all of these keys. Getting there, we're almost halfway. Halfway there.
bonus energy for magic. Yay. Leaving. Four left, three left. Summoning. Fishing. But it's random. I bet they randomly give you a new skill. Wood cutting, sure. Alright, out of keys. Now can I use this? I can. Finally. Alright, let's start using up some of this stuff. Open the cash bag. 9,253 coins. Use all small stars. Use all. What sort of uh, constitution? Here. How come I can't use this one for divination? Gosh darn it, why can't I use lamps? What's the problem? Level up an attack. Look, my attack's level 18. Alright, so I got... Couple lamps I don't know how to use, and I need to put these in the bank. Use large XP lamp. I need to like fill it with oil or something. Examine. Log into a member server to use this object. Okay. Drop. 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 All right. Now we just got to go down to that deposit box, throw away these last two things. I guess I could just drop them. Well, it's such a short walk. I can do this. Bank deposit box. Here, take this and take that. All. Okay. Now I have nothing. Now I can go into this quest. Gosh darn it. Keep clicking away from me. Let me go this way. Little by little. Little steps.
Okay. Enter the door. You better let me in. Are you sure you want to enter it? Yes. Ooh. Oh, a zombie. Walk through the door. While in the mansion, your world map will be replaced by a map of the house, which is crucible navigation and finding locked doors. In addition, all the doors feature a peek option. You can, if you think something dangerous is behind the door, you should peek first to check what's lurking on the other side. I'm in the haunted mansion. Could use the stairs. Let's go look around here first. There's a door over here. Let's peek in that door first. Looks easy enough. Let's go ahead and enter. It's locked. There's a picture of a raven engraved on the handle. Go back, so I can't go. Oh, here we go. Examine this door. It's got nothing. Let's try opening this. It's locked. There's a picture of a snake carved on the wooden panel. We got a raven, we got a snake, and we got a place for a picture down here. Here's another door. It's probably locked and it probably has a picture of something else on the door handle. Peek door. Looks safe enough. Let's go ahead and enter. It's bolted on the other side. Okay. Try this one. Peek door. Check grandfather clock. Enter room. You feel safe in this room. Unlike a regular quest, your progress will only be saved when you enter certain save rooms. If you die, log out, or leave, you will be returned to the last save point when you re-enter the mansion. Search chest. Check grandfather clock. Search chest. You find some mystery meat. Eat mystery meat. I might need it. All right, check the grandfather clock. Hands are missing from the clock face. Peek at that door. That was got misty stuff on the other side. Ooh, Ormond, Ormod, ghost on the other side, dum dum dum, progress has been saved, okay let's enter because I just saved, where's Ormod, alright let's try this door, peek in that door. Examine servant. One of Ingram's servants. Enter room. Oh my gosh. I got the raven key. That was gross. Okay, that was that door downstairs on the right outside. Take that key, hope I don't get eaten. Alright, so I've gone in that door. I came from there. I could go there and go to the Raven area, or I could peek and see what else is over here while I'm here. Mm, 
crack in the wall, more doors. It's locked. Picture of a skull on the handle. Let's keep walking. That one's another one with a ghost on the other side. Peak door. Another ghost on the other side. This looks back to the main entrance where I just came from. You unbolted the door. So this is a shortcut to the skull, basically. Yeah, here we are back in the beginning. Alright, so we went there, got the raven key, came back to a bolted. If we want to go with the skull, we can take a shortcut over there. So let's go back to the raven... Raven area, which I think was... Is it the first door I looked at? Probably. Peak door. This will tell me, I think. Door's locked, has a raven on the handle. Unlocked it with the raven key. Ooh, a ghost. Ghost is walking through the wall. Peak mm. door. There's something in the window. I examine that window. Glow is too bright to look into for long. Hmm. Don't stand in front of that window. Peek at that door. Something's over here purple. Spookiness. Ooh, this whole room's pretty purplish. Looks like there's a shadow of something here on the left. Ooh, there's a chest. Yep, a chest and some stairs and some doors. They want me to head to the chest. I'm going to check these doors first. Whoa! This is a room full of statues. Let's not go there. That looks dangerous. There's two doors. Are these two doors next to each other? There are. Peak door. Lots of pictures. This looks interesting. Door is jammed shut. I had to open it from the other side, it looks like. Let's try this next one. You get that door. Probably jammed shut. Yep. Same thing. Open chest. Need to have 20 in all skills to open the chest. 20 in all skills? I don't think I have 20 in any skills. Alright, let's go up the stairs. We got a door at the top of the stairs, and we got a door down there. Try this peeking this door first. room looks possibly safe. There's a little weird shadow right there. Whoa! Ghosts. They're heading that way. What's in this door? Seems like something has placed something over the keyhole. Impossible to beat it. Peek in this door. 
Crack in the wall, shadow on the left, shadow on the right. Right, everything's going to get progressively scarier. Still looking for a skull key. Let's peek in that door first. Lots of books to examine, lots of charts to examine. Examine chart. Meaningless to the uninitiated. Same with that, same with that, same with that. Seems like a dead end, but I'm going to enter and see how it's in. Nothing to click on, nothing to see, okay. Let's try this one where the ghosts were going into. All right, let's do it. Bolted on the other side, darn. All right, so I'm at dead end here. Guess I have to go back through the door I came and Except that door is, yeah, go back this way. Oh, someone put something in front of there, but I can open it. It's locked a picture of a noose engraved on the handle. Okay, so I need a noose. I need a noose key and a skull key. You unbolted the door. All right, so I'm upstairs. That guy went that way. Who's that on the wall? That's interesting. I'm gonna see if there's anything else I can grab. Peek through that door. Looks safe enough. Scythe in on the handle. So we got a skull, a scythe, and a noose. Keeps having ghostly. I wonder why it's all this effects of like keep showing you. Probably all has to do with him. Oop, not use this here. Put a picture of him. Alright, let's look in this door. Spider on the handle. All kinds of keys I'm missing. Gotta watch out for that thing. That doesn't fall on me. Alright, so we're kind of stuck. I've gone in every door that I'm able to, except for the one with 
There was one with soldiers that I didn't enter. I think that was this way. where I got the key to the raven. Feel safe in this room. I have mystery meat. Yeah, have I met anybody that wants meat? So it's not over there, so I must have been over there. Or it could, could have been over here. Oh, I've never been in here. What's in here? Search the desk. You find some notes. This must be how Ormond's staff felt all those years ago as he hunted them from room to room and slew them one by one. Now he repeats the macabre dance once more, and my staff and I are unwilling are his unwilling partners. There's no way out. All the doors and windows are sealed, made lethal by this by his fury. There is a second ghost, a little boy. I believe this to be his son, whom he lost to some tragedy. Perhaps the son holds the key to the father, but I cannot communicate with him. I have one hope. There is a sealed door in the basement. Perhaps it leads to an escape, or perhaps there is something down there which he, which can put the old ghost to rest. Alright, so I need to find the basement. Enter here. Examine chest. Nothing. Huh? Sort the pile of books. Seven books appear to be strewn on the floor in front of you. Perhaps they should go back on the shelf. Select a book from the left. Starting from the bottom. The second book causes the whole pile to topple over. The third doesn't seem right either. Does that mean the first one was right? How about that? So, or does he mean down here with these ones are wrong? But it starts with white and then go like I've got it all backwards. 
about white and then all those. There we go, let's try this. First book causes the whole pile topple over. Second book doesn't seem right either. Okay, so it could be that I start with this one at the bottom. Let's reset. First causes, okay, so that's not right. Nope. If I just put one, will it tell me whether that's right or not? Check. It won't tell me. Okay, so I have to go all of them to get able to get. Let's try. Brown, purple, blue, green, orange, yellow, white. Second causes. Okay, so one of these is right. I think this one at the top is right. So let's let's do this. Let's move this one out. First one wrong. Okay, so that means So they didn't complain about the first one when I had that one down there. All right, so that one's right. So the rest are wrong. So what if we switch this one and this one? Wait, we just did. How about now? Are you guys complain about the second one now? Yep. All right, what would be, how about orange? Still not. Blue. Hey, there we go. So this one then blue. Third one's wrong. So let's try what goes next to blue? Green usually, right? Green. Nope. Or yellow. Nope. Or purple. There we go. So what goes after purple? Not orange. Try green. Not green. Try yellow. Yellow works, and white's next, and then green and orange need to be swapped. Of course! Pile of books seem to stay in place. As you put them back, you notice something falling. Quickly catch two eye gems before they hit the ground. So I probably stick them in a statue's eyes. <clears throat> Shaped like an eye. Okay. Cool. How about these books? Do these need to be straightened? You laugh at me. Need 10 in all skills to open the chest. Alright. 10 in all skills. All right, so we need a statue with eyeballs. Oh, there was a, a room full of statues. That might be it. Maybe you go in there and then you put these eye gems in there. Examine covered statue.
Oh, uncover the statue. No, nothing. Okay, so I probably went the wrong way. I need to go into that first door. Weird they have ghost things over there. Let's look, peek in that door real quick. Why did they show ghost things? I've already been in it. Huh. Wonder. Alright, I'm entering here again. I'm gonna check. Fix the. See, that's only one thing. Search the desk. Let's go to the basement. How do you get to the basement? Nothing else in here. No other ghost or anything. Oh no! Talk to Orma. Examine Orma. Can't fight him or anything. I'm hurt. I should have peeked. He's trying to kill me. Can't fight or reason with the ghost. Run. I'm quite hurt. Better not run into another ghost. It's weird he just randomly showed up there. They did warn me with a little ghost uh, fog and stuff. Oh, I don't have any weapons or anything. Alright, I think these are the soldiers right here. They are. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Might have to stick the eyeballs in. You find yourself trapped or unable to complete the puzzle due to the way you push the statues. Right click to reset the room. Alright, so it's a puzzle. Push him down here, go this way. So I want to get probably down to here. So let's start out. I guess I have to push this one. Don't want to push him that way because that traps me. But how else can I go, right? Okay, I'll go this way. I'll push this one. This one. That way. Push this one that way. And I need to walk to here. And I need to push something that way. And I need to figure out how to get around. If I go this way and then that way, it still doesn't help me. I push him there, and then that way, that way, that way. Yeah, okay. I see it. Move this way. Push this one up. And come back this way. Push this one that way. Push this one that way. Push this one that way. Take from table. Eye gem. Another eye gem. So that's three eye gems. But I need four for those two statues in the entryway. Is that it for this room? Yep. 
use eye gem on statue. Mm. I wonder if I was supposed to use them on... Oh no, ghost guy is probably going to be here. He is. Run. Ooh. I forgot about him. That was spooky. Let's see what's in this door. Probably still bolted. It doesn't say it's still bolted. Oh, it still says jam shut. Spooky. Peek through this chilling door. Oh no. Why did I do that? I'm glad I peeked. That was close. Nothing in here. Books and scrolls, scrolls and books. Peek through that door, don't enter it. It's gonna be like, no. Go away. Okay. Maybe every room has something spooky in it. They just randomly put him on every side of every door and randomly say whether he's going to be there or run off. And I doubt he unbolts doors for you. He's gone. Going in circles, picking up eye gems. Probably locked. see any more with smoke on the other side. 
Harry wants me to get complacent and then not look one time. Oof. Gotta be something back here. There's that little kid. going out and coming back in see if that changes anything. You'll lose any unsaved progress. No. Last thing I want to have to do is all of this all over here. Okay, this is a newly unlocked door, so I can go in here But this just goes straight to the skull key thing, which is right there. Bum, bum, bum. This is where that murder was. Oh wait, clock hands. Ah, I did not see that one earlier. Grab those, put them with the clock. This is the safe room with the clock. Here we go. Check the clock. Hands are missing. Use the clock hands on the clock. You slot the clocks into the clock face. Another eye gem comes out because now I've got four, probably for those two statues in the entrance room. Slowly trick down the clock face. All right. I'm going to try use eye gem What is that? Woodpecker trying to knock on the door? Sounds like it. Use eye gem on covered that sound like a woodpecker. Woodpecker trying to get into our attic. That's another mystery. Here I'm messing with this fake haunted mansion and I have a woodpecker trying to sneak into my house. I wonder what this mystery meat is for. Do I need to put this mystery meat somewhere?
Where might the mystery meat be used? What do you think? I could use it when, when I see the ghost, but why would he go after a mystery meat and what would that do for me? I need to get to a basement is what I need to do. I'm going to keep looking for like little clock hands and things on the ground. This is the statue room. I'm going to look and see if there's a hole in the wall I can get to the right. I see I need to go that way. I don't see any other opening. There's probably nothing else there. I'm out of here. No, there he is. That desk area. Maybe I could eat the meat and see what happens. I haven't tried that. You've been restored to full health. Bolted on the other side. Okay, let's look at the map. The map show anything obvious? Okay, so I've got the main entrance way. I got locked doors here and here. I've been there and there. Family chamber altar. Altar. Oh, I can't get to that. Oh, I could go this way, that way, that way, that way. If I go. According to the map, I could get there. Let's see if I'm going the right way. Whoa! to go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. So, if you go up the stairs, why are they showing me here? I'm not at the top of the stairs. Maybe the map's off by something. 
It says if I go east and then north. Yeah, the map's a little bit off. this way. Yeah, let's look at the map. Yep, so I keep going down this long corridor, go straight, go straight, then I end up at the altar. Bolted from the other side. Okay, so it's locked. This little room doesn't really help me. This is that little study area. So I'm kind of locked out of this whole area. We'll go in here real quick. Search the research notes. Been in the mansion for a month now. What I learned from my of my ancestor Ormod confuses me greatly. I have unearthed nothing so far about the supposed horrors that were committed within these walls, but I have found a great deal about the obsession that consumed him in his later years. Madness took him, or at least he believed that it did, and it so debilitated him during most of his waking hours that he found it quite impossible to function without aid. What little lucidity he had remaining was dedicated to attempts to cure himself of this curse, seemingly without success. His riches were made in the trade of runes, and it was through magic that he looked for a solution. I found scattered fragments of the, of the spell he hoped to create, or perhaps recreate. Knowing of his eventual fate, it seems unlikely that he succeeded in his goal. You found the spider key. And the fragment of his spell. Okay, there was a door with a spider thingy on it. If I peek, that'll scare him away, I think. Oh, bye. Should have like written down where all these where the spider thing was. Oh. The spider was pretty close to the entrance. Looks like I don't think this was it. No, it was something a little harder than that. Maybe. Aha, that was it. Okay, spider key entered. 
let's look in here. What's in here? A bed. Dead servant. You can search the servant. A picture on the wall, that's interesting. Servant's clutching something in his hands. Rigor mortis already begun to set in. Pry the object free? Yeah. We found another eye gem, so I've got five eye gems now. Examine the bed. Wonder how many of these eye gems I got. Looks soft and comfortable. It's a curtain. Nothing safe about a bathroom curtain. I have one choice. Examine the glass. Examine the curtain. I feel like he's going to be on the other side there. You can hear shuffling on the other side. You can't be sure what it is. Aww. The faceless servant. Talk to them. Hello? He doesn't seem to be aware of you. Search her. You found the statue key. Ooh. Eye gem doesn't do anything. I can fill the sink. Examine the sink. Examine the curtain. I need a bucket to come back up here to get that. Examine her. Someone plucked her eyes out or something. Alright, now I need to find probably further down this way there's a statue key or something. Or a door with a easy statue key. Farther down this way. Do 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 do. Ooh, ghost. Let's peek in here. Doorways all look the same. Is she real? Running water, a nice feature. Let's go. There's a kid. Talk to the kid. Emaciated spirit. He disappeared. Peek through this door. Ah! There's a statue. Spooky. There's an eye gem. Statue might try to kill me. Oh, this is the statue key, which I already have. Take the gem. Investigate the statue. You put the eye gem into one of the eye sockets. You 
put the eye gem into the other socket. You hear a latch unlocking a nearby door. Aha! Another statue. You're going to un investigate the statue. You put the eye gem into one of these sockets. And the eye gem to one of those sockets. Another nearby door unlocked. And another statue. I'm seeing a pattern here. Put the eye gem into one of the sockets. And the other one. And another door is unlocked. So now all doors are unlocked. It's better not be another statue. It is if there's a key in here. The scythe key. Hey, I remember that. That was the top of the stairs on the right, I believe. Two empty eye sockets. Okay, so I need to come back to this room. Check on the map where this is. Alright, so this is in the bottom right corner of this area up here at the top of the stairs. So upstairs left, get back here for the last room with the eyes. Bottom right of the four. Um, salmon door. Going in. Locked by a mechanism. Okay, that's probably his. I have to take the eyes back all the way back. I wish I could work back to the beginning. Does H take me back to the beginning? I don't know. I'm going to pretend it does. Look out for smoke. Okay, where haven't I been? I think I haven't gone this way, down the stairwell this way, or down the hallway. Peek in that door. Unusual dragon head, and a bust, and a trophy head, and a candle, and a stuffed bear. Nothing scary about that. It's like a trophy room. Oh, I need tusks on this hand. Alright, walk back this way. We're still looking for the scythe. Check the map real quick. I want to go straight. Although this is interesting. What is this? Guest chamber. Yeah, I'm going to go straight. <clears throat> yep, I am where I thought I was. Okay, is this the one with the scythe on it? No. Let's try here.
Yep, this is the site key. I was right. All right, immediately there's two doors here. So I'm at the three door part. I just entered, so I don't want to go there. I want to go straight and then turn right at the end of the hallway. I could unbolt that door down here too. I'll unbolt it just for kicks. Yeah, I've been here. I'll open it just to unbolt it. Yep, unbolt it. Okay. Now we're going into the altar. You feel safe in this room. Okay. Does this save me somehow? Investigate the shrine. Found a piano key. Play the piano. Or to open the door that has a piano. And I found the skull key. Skull key was something I needed. Okay. Found more mystery meat in case I get hurt. All right, Skull Key, you're next. You hear a scream from the door to the main hall to the west. Ooh, spooky. Let's go to the main hall in a second. Okay, so I can't go to the left because it says it's locked. I'm going to try to unlock it, and I'm going to go to the right, and then I'll go straight. in that door. What's in this locked door? A four-poster bed. Dagger on the hand. The door. Oh, somebody said something. Who is it? Who's there? My name is Mangler3M. I'm here to help. No, monster, get away. I'm not a monster. I'm trying to deal with the ghost. You cannot. You cannot. I tried. Do not repeat my mistake. What do you mean? I went down the dark, into the dark. I disturbed something, something ancient, something horrible. It followed me to the house, a horror from lost eons. Do not tread there, lest you stir up another monstrosity. Do not go down into the basement. Before you turn away, a voice comes from behind the door. Do not go into the basement. I wonder... I'm going to peek again. I'm going to examine that bed just in case there's something interesting about that bed. Looks quite comfortable. Candles light the house. All right, let's look in this way. Maybe the school key goes down to the basement. Tiny little room here. Not even clock hands or anything to pick up in here. Spooky little room. Skull key, skull key. Locked. Check the keyhole. Oh, I probably have to take my way around. That long way around. Ah. What is that at the bottom right there? Oh, probably a person or something. I heard screaming. Guess I have to go that long way. To the left. To the left. I 
can't get to the basement from up here, so. Actually, let's double check. First way is nowhere, so. Can't go to the left, but let's peek just in case something's changed. Impossible to peek in. And it's locked. That's the one with the niche. Okay. In and out and around. Okay, there's a stairway here. I feel like I want to take the stairway. Because this just goes back into the main hallway. Mm. Yeah, let's take the stairway. Actually, I want to see the main hallway because something spooky was near that door. So, oh, it's bolted. So I have to take the stairs. Anything here? No. Just something's here. This was that puzzle I did. This was that bolted. But it looks like that you it's unbolted because I hit that statue thing. The eyeballs and that one door. Jam shut. Okay, so this wasn't the bolted one they unlocked. That's the statue, dude. I already did that one. Check out this door. Safe, okay. Back in the main area, finally. Ooh, something shaking. Glass is broke. Get out of here. I'm hurt. All right, I need to go to the place where there's two doors. Straight door that I want? Yeah. This would get to the altar or whatever that was. I'm not going to. Alright, everything's purple. Glasses are broken. I'm hurt. How do I heal from this? Let's see if this altar thingy can help from that. Alter the chest thingy. How can I get through there? I don't think I can survive in the purple area. Grand piano key. What could I do once I'm there? I need to get to the skull key. What if I run across the floor to the other side? You think I'd survive? I don't think so. I'm already down to 486. Or 786. This hall of armor. Okay, that's not good. It's the grand hall. I go here. Can't go this way. Could go to the dining room. 
I think I need to go across to here. All right, I'm going to go to this back right corner. I'm going to run. If I don't make it, I don't make it, but I'm going to try. made it. I'm going to eat this because probably need it. Back to full health. Okay. Now this I think is the skull key that I've been looking for for so long. I'm going to peek first. Enter the room. Yep. Skull key. Lots of doors from this area. Let's look at the map and see if anything makes more sense. Um, on the first floor, I want to go to the basement. I see some stores, uh, some stairs. I wonder if those go down. If I go straight. So I could go to the right, that's a tiny little room, I can go straight to the right, that's, and if I go all the way straight, and then all the way down, there's all sorts of stuff. Every door has something. Let's one by one check out all of this. Peek in this door. There's a chair facing away from me. Lots of notes on the walls. A work of beautiful mind, perhaps? Maybe I can get the other half of that potion I was trying to do. Scribblings. Madness, they call it. Madness. Maybe it is madness, but madness is nothing but a curse. As illness is an infirmity of the body... So madness is an infirmity of the mind. In my long experience with mages and runes, I have learned that any physical ailment can be alleviated by the, with the right magic. If it is so for the body, then why not for the mind? Why not indeed? And so my clients have developed a spell for me, but it is incomplete. It needs something more. Some missing piece of knowledge, or neither that neither they nor I possess. Useless. I tear it to pieces. Ooh. Another fragment. Let's piece these together. Combine the fragments. Some parts missing. So I need more. I think that's the same thing, the scribblings. Yeah. I was afraid somebody was sitting on that chair. All right, let's go back. Ooh. I think I just came through that door. I did. Let's view it. I'm not going to go there, though. Yep, it's him. It's the bad guy. Alright, straight is to the stairs way over there. I'm going to try this one first. Maybe I can pick up some more scroll fragments. Ooh, a kid. Talk to them. A ghostly waif. Which side needs protecting from which? A creepy little girl. A heavy wooden door with a large keyhole so I could see through it. Peek that door. 
large key hole. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enter. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm curious. They're still there. Talk to them. Little girl stares at you, her face dispassionate. Hello? Face is clean, dressed in rags. Can you hear me? The girl tilts her head to the right, studying you intently. Tilt your head to the left to match her. Tilt your head slowly the other way, expressionless. Tilt your head to the right to match her. She stares at you in a long moment. Her face breaks out into a big beaming smile. Hello. Spookiness. She just smiles. I don't think I can go through this glass barrier. Can't open that door either. I'm gonna have to go with, uh, come back later. Okay, now we can go through this straight door, and then there's something to the left, and then stairs to the right, if I remember right. I hear noises. Glad these aren't broken. They might be later. Grand piano! I have a key for you. Play grand piano. Dum dum dum. I need a key for that. You add the missing note and play it. Piano itself does not make any sound, but you hear a clunk nearby. Examine it. Ooh, I hear a door. That's probably what opened. Probably the door was unlocked by the piano. A room of skulls. Oh, I'm hurting here. Get out of here. I'm trying to leave. I did not see anything but bones everywhere. Wish there was something I could do to make the... Maybe I do this scroll and then I suddenly not get hurt and that's where I need to go. Who knows? Alright, where was I? I was... Trying to go this way. I need to go to the end of the hallway, out the door. Yep, there's the stairs downstairs, so this is the basement down here. I'm going to check this door first before I go down to the basement, because they told me not to go to the basement. What? I already talked to her. I go back in the room, it's the same. Descend stairs. Let's go for it. 
see what we find. We're in the basement. Lots of rooms here. These doors are all rickety. Don't see anything in here. Let's go check it out. There's a door at the end of the hallway. There's a door here to the left. Lots of jars. Let's see what I can gather. Look at assorted equipment. I need all this stuff. I need to be like level 30 here. Get that. So I can't pick up any jars. Those were all just. Let me see if I can peek and then look again and see if that tells me something. Welcome, Colony. Thank you. Let's peek through the door and see what we can find. All right, I can examine things. I can examine the jars. They contain some culinary ingredients, probably well past their best. Pots and pans, assorted culinary equipment. Examine assorted various culinary items. Nope. All right, that wasn't anything. Here's the door at the end of the hall that I'm nervous to go in. Last time I opened an unmarked door. Oh, it's bolted. I was hurt on the other side of this. That poisonous gas, purple gas stuff. Let's try this door. Second door. Let's peek first. No smoke, but you never know. Ooh, papers. Oh, a butler. Uh-oh. Butlers are not good. It's always the butler. He's got a key. He's got the cleaver key. Another cle key. Everybody's got a key. No paper from anything to explore. Alright, door number two complete. Let's try door number three. It's another chest and armor. Various protective items. I could use some of this, but you apparently won't give it to me. I'll go ahead and enter in here. You feel safe in this room. Okay. Hopefully there's another save point in case I die. It'll make me reappear here. Let's search this chest. I found more mystery meat. Okay. In case I get hurt, I can heal with that. We'll take it. All right, so we've gone through three doors. Let's try door number four. All right, let's see if I can check on the status of that. I think that, I think the uh, I feel safe means that that's a good uh, stopping point. That's a good save point. This looks like a pretty long quest, so. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in the video. But thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Mangler3M here. Look forward to continuing again later.
Um, I guess we will talk to you later.